Hello, my name is Dr Millard. Hello Dr Millard, what's in your bag? This item is very important to me in my job. But what do you think I do? OK, Fact Pack, what do you think it is? I think it looks like a golf stick. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> if it was bigger, you can do this. Yeah. Um, a mirror. There is a type of mirror. Would you like a clue? Yes, yes please. please. This item allows me to see into people's mouths. It's just one of the many tools I need to do my job. I love to make people smile. Um, it's for a dentist. So the dentist puts it in your mouth to see what you, what's on your teeth. That is spot on. You got it. I am a dentist. Well done, you lot. This is my dental mirror. What's in your bag? Dr Millard, what exactly does a dentist do? Dentists are experts that look after your teeth and mouth. That means stopping dental decay and disease to keep your teeth nice and healthy. Yeah, I saw a dentist when I went to the dentist. Tell us again, what do you keep in your bag? What's in your bag? This is my dental mirror. It helps me to check your oral health by looking for tooth decay and holes. The way to prevent this is with good oral hygiene, which just means keeping our mouth nice and healthy by brushing our teeth regularly. How do you say that? You say oral hygiene. Oral hygiene. Oral hygiene. Oral hygiene. Oral hygiene. Dr Millard, what's so special about your dental mirror? I can use my dental mirror to look inside my patient's mouth. Open nice and wide. There we go, lovely, all well done. It's very small, so I can see all of the teeth, even the ones at the back. Without it, I might miss problems in your mouth that need fixing. As an expert, I use a dental mirror as part of my job, but you should never put anything into your mouth if it's not safe to do so. I can see my tongue. We also have to wear masks and gloves to protect us from germs. Have any of you been to the dentist? I actually went yesterday to the dentist. I was nervous the first time, but then I, then I was brave. Dr Millard, do some people not like to visit you? Some people can get quite nervous when they see the dentist, but that's OK. The tools we use help to keep your teeth strong and healthy. And we like people to leave with huge, big smiles. Dr Millard was born in Iran and came to the UK when he was five years old. He studied for six years at university to become a dentist and now he's all about making trips to the dentist fun. He even sings songs about it. You want nice teeth, white and clean, brush twice a day and floss in between. You want nice teeth, white and clean, brush twice a day and floss in between. I like to sing about keeping your teeth healthy and I want to teach everybody how to keep their mouth clean in a fun way. Wow, that sounds great. Singing is fun. Dr Millard, can you tell our fact pack more about your dental mirror? Sure, I'd love to. I'll come over right now. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you both. When I say dental, you say mirror. Dental. Mirror. Dental. Mirror. Dental. Mirror. mirror. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, lovely. Now let's see that dental mirror at work. I already know those teeth. You know these teeth? Yeah. Have you met them? Yes. Hello. And me too. Hi. <laughs> we use the mirror to look all around the outside, the inside, on the top of the teeth, and then we count them out. Oh, lower right, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And then we go to the top. 
areas, upper left, seven, six, five, all. And also, if there's bacteria, then you have to get the toothbrush to brush them. That is a perfect thing you need to do, yes. Our very own dentist in the making. Do you have any more questions for Dr. Millard? Keep my teeth healthy. So, brushing teeth is super important. When you brush your teeth, you've got to make sure you don't miss any of them out. So if you start on the bottom, clean the outside of the teeth and do very, very, very small little circles and work your way all the way round until you get to the other side. Then clean the inside of the teeth. Then we go to the top. Most children have 20 baby teeth and then around the age of six, they start to fall out, making way for 32 adult teeth. The only thing I do is I go and then I go and See, that looked like you got pretty much all the teeth. I have checked the teeth and now I've cleaned them, OK? Are they clean? Let's see. There's a blue thing here. You have to brush that. Off. What do you use your teeth for? They help to bite into things. So we've got our front teeth. They're called incisors. Then we've got these sharp, pointy teeth, and they're called canines. And it's these big teeth at the back that chomp all the food before we swallow it. So it's a team effort. You're the best dentist ever. Oh, thank you so much. And you're the best dentist ever. Thanks, guys. You two are the best patients ever. Thanks. And you gave these big, big mouth bob a good clean. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Millard. Bosh, bye bye. Bosh, bosh. Can you tell us again what's in your bag? Yes, this is my dazzling, delicate, decay stopping dental mirror. Amazing. Any last tips? Yes, make sure you all look after your mouth and teeth because they are very, very important. That's great advice. Your dental mirror is truly stunning. Can you think of other things that might be in people's bags? Get ready to meet more awesome people unpacking amazing objects next time.